uh, it's time to discuss what is a perfect information game. So in a perfect information game, a game has to fulfill two conditions. The current configuration of the game is known to each player before taking any decision. That is, uh, what is the other player's position currently? And eventually, if he takes some decision X, what would be the resultant configuration? So like, for example, considering the game of snakes and letters, assume that four players are playing it. So before uh, some player X throws his dice, he knows that what is the current position of his opponents, right? Like someone would be at 20, someone would be at 40, someone would be at 45. Eventually, when he throws up the dice and so assume five comes in, so he also knows that what would be the uh, configuration of the game after he moves his piece. So it is more of like uh, everything is pretty certain. So if, if he gets a two, he knows that eventually he will move two places. If he gets a three, he will get uh, he will move three places. Hence, the uh, the configuration before uh, even playing his chance, he knows the configuration and once he plays his chance, he again knows what would be the resultant configuration. That is called as a perfect information game.